सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर थर्टीन डायरेक्ट एंड इनवर्स प्रपोर्शन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एट एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट वन वन फॉलोइंग आर द कार पार्किंग चार्जेस नियर अ रेलवे स्टेशन अप टू फोर आर्स रुपीज सिक्सटी एट आर्स रुपीज हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व आर्स रुपीज वन फोर्टी ट्वेंटी फोर आर्स इज इक्वल टू रुपीज वन एटी चेक इफ द पार्किंग चार्जेस आर इन डिरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन टू द पार्किंग टाइम टू अ मिक्सचर ऑफ पेंट इज प्रिपेयर बाय मिक्सिंग वन पार्ट ऑफ रेड पिगमेंट्स विद एट पार्ट्स ऑफ बेस इन द फॉलोइंग टेबल फाइन द पार्ट्स ऑफ बेस दैट नीड टू बी एडेड Here we have a table with two rows. In the first row we have parts of red pigment. The values are 1 4 7 12 20. In the second row we have parts of base. The values are 8 blank 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 blank. 3. In question 2 above if One part of a red pigment requires seventy-five mL of base. How much red pigment should we mix with eighteen hundred mL of base? Four. A machine in a soft drink factory fills eight forty bottles in six hours. How many bottles will it fill in five hours? Five. A photograph of a bacteria enlarged fifty thousand times attains a length of five centimeter. as given in the diagram what is the actual length of the bacteria if the photograph is enlarged 20000 times only what would be its enlarged length 6 in a model of a ship the mast is 9 cm high while the mast of the actual ship is 12 m high if the length of the ship is 28 m how long is the model ship 7 Suppose 2 kg of sugar contains 9 into 10 raised to the power 6 crystals. How many sugar crystals are there in 1 5 kg of sugar? 2 1.2 2 kg of sugar. 8. Rashmi has a road map with a scale of 1 cm representing 18 km. She drives on a road for 72 km. What would be her distance covered in the map? 9. A five meter sixty centimeter high vertical pole casts a shadow three meter twenty centimeter long. Find at the same time one the length of the shadow cast by another pole ten meter fifty centimeter high. Two the height of a pole which casts a shadow five meter long. Ten a loaded truck travels fourteen kilometer in twenty five minutes. If the speed remains the same, how far can it travel in five hours? Do this. One, on a squared paper, draw five squares of different sides. Write the following information in a tabular form. Here we have a table with five columns: square one, square two, square three, square four, square five. There are also five rows. Length of a side or L, perimeter or P, L by P, area or A, L by A. Fill in the blanks. Page number two hundred nine. Find whether the length of a side is in direct proportion to A, the perimeter of the square, B, the area of the square. Two. The following ingredients are required to make halwa for five persons: suji or rawa is equal to two fifty gram, sugar is equal to three hundred gram, ghee is equal to two hundred gram, water is equal to five hundred mL. Using the concept of proportion, estimate the changes in the quantity of ingredients to prepare halwa for your class. Three, choose a scale and make a map of your classroom. showing windows doors blackboard etc an example is given here 
Here, we have an example in the form of a rectangle. There is a board represented by B, three windows represented by W, one door represented by D. The side opposite to board is 4.5 cm. The side opposite to two windows is 5 cm. The scale is 1 is to 200. Think, discuss and write. Take a few problems discussed so far under direct variation. Do you think that they can be solved by unitary method? 13.3 Inverse Proportion Two quantities may change in such a manner that if one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases and vice versa. For example, as the number of workers increases, time taken to finish the job decreases. Similarly, if we increase the speed, the time taken to cover a given distance decreases. To understand this, let us look into the following situation. Zahida can go to her school in four different ways. She can walk, run, cycle or go by car. Study the following table. Here we have a table with two rows. Speed in kilometer per hour. Time taken in minutes. Then there are four columns. Walking, running, cycling, by car. The values in row 1 are 3, 6, 9, 45. 6 has been multiplied by 2. 9 has been multiplied by 3. 45 has been multiplied by 15. The values in second row are 30, 15, 10, 2. 15 has been multiplied by half. 10 multiplied by 1 by 3. 2 multiplied by 1 by 15. Page number 210. Observe that as the speed increases, time taken to cover the same distance decreases. As Zahida doubles her speed by running, time reduces to half. As she increases her speed to three times by cycling, time decreases to one third. Similarly, as she increases her speed to 15 minutes, time decreases to one fifteenth. Or, in other words, the ratio by which time decreases is inverse of the ratio by which the corresponding speed increases. Can we say that speed and time change inversely in proportion? Multiplicative inverse of a number is its reciprocal. Thus, half is the inverse of 2 and vice versa. Note that 2 into half is equal to half into 2 is equal to 1. Let us consider another example. A school wants to spend rupees 6000 on mathematics textbooks. How many books could be bought at rupees 40 each? Clearly, 150 books can be bought. If the price of a textbook is more than rupees 40, then the number of books which could be purchased with the same amount of money would be less than 150. Observe the following table. Here, we have a table with two rows. The first row has price of each book in rupees and the values are 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, 100. The second row has number of books that can be bought. The values are 150, 120, 100, 80, 75, 60. What do you observe? You will appreciate that as the price of the books increases, the number of books that can be bought keeping the fund constant will decrease. Ratio by which the price of books increases when going from 40 to 50 is 4 is to 5 and the ratio by which the corresponding number of books decreases from 150 to 120 is 5 is to 4. This means that the two ratios are inverse of each other. Notice that the product of the corresponding values of the two quantities is constant. That is, 40 into 150 is equal to 50 into 120 is equal to 6000. If we represent the price of one book as x and the number of books bought as y, then as x increases, y decreases and vice versa. It is important to note 
that the product x y remains constant. We say that x varies inversely with y and y varies inversely with x. Thus, two quantities x and y are said to vary in inverse proportion. If there exists a relation of the type x y is equal to k between them, k being a constant. If y1, y2 are the values of y corresponding to the values x1, x2 of x respectively, then x1, y1 is equal to x2, y2 is equal to k or x1 by x2 is equal to y2 by y1. We say that x and y are in inverse proportion. Hence, in this example, cost of a book and number of books purchased in a fixed amount are inversely proportional. Similarly, speed of a vehicle and the time taken to cover a fixed distance changes in inverse proportion. Think of more such examples of pairs of quantities that vary in inverse proportion. You may now have a look at the furniture arranging problem stated in the introductory part of this chapter. Here is an activity for better understanding of the inverse proportion. Page number 121. Do this. Take a squared paper and arrange 48 counters on it in different number of rows as given below. Here, we have a squared paper with 48 counters and they are given in 4 rows and 12 columns. Again, we have done the same with 48 counters in 6 rows and 8 columns. Here, we have a table. In the first row, we have number of rows or R. The values are R1, 2, R2, 3, R3, 4, R4, 6, R5, 8. In the second row, we have number of columns or C. The values are C1, blank, C2, blank, C3, 12, C4, 8, C5, blank. What do you observe? As R increases, C decreases. 1. Is R1 is to R2 is equal to C2 is to C1? 2. Is R3 is to R4 is equal to C4 is to C3? 3. Are R and C inversely proportional to each other? Try this activity with 36 counters. Try these. Observe the following tables and find which pair of variables, here x and y, are in inverse proportion. 1. Here we have a table with two rows x and y. In the first row we have values for x. They are 50, 40, 30, 20. In second row we have values for y. 5, 6, 7, 8. 2. Again, we have a similar table. The values in first row are 100, 200, 300, 400. The values in second row are 60, 30, 20, 15. 3. Again, we have a similar table. The values in the first row are 90, 60, 45, 30, 20, 5. The values in the second row are 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Let us consider some examples where we use the concept of inverse proportion. When two quantities x and y are in direct proportion or vary directly, they are also written as x, sign of a horizontal cross, y. When two quantities x and y are in inverse proportion or vary inversely, they are also written as x sine of horizontal cross 1 by y. Page number 212. Example 7. Six pipes are required to fill a tank in 1 hour 20 minutes. How long will it take if only five pipes of the same type are used? Solution. Let the desired 
time to fill the tank be x minutes. Thus, we have the following table. In the first row, we have number of pipes. The values are 6 and 5. In the second row, we have time in minutes. The values are 80 and x. Lesser the number of pipes, more will be the time required by it to fill the tank. So, this is a case of inverse proportion. Hence, 80 into 6 is equal to x into 5, x1y1 is equal to x2y2, or 80 into 6 by 5 is equal to x, or x is equal to 96. Thus, time taken to fill the tank by 5 pipes is 96 minutes, or 1 hour 36 minutes. Example 8. There are 100 students in a hostel. Food provision for them is for 20 days. How long will the provisions last if 25 more students join the group? Solution Suppose the provisions last for y days when the number of students is 125. We have the following table. In the first row, we have values for number of students. They are 100, 125. In the second row, we have values for number of days. They are 20, y. Note that more the number of students, the sooner would the provisions exhaust. Therefore, this is a case of inverse proportion. So, 100 into 20 is equal to 125 into y. Or, 100 into 20 by 125 is equal to y. Or, 16 is equal to y. Thus, the provisions will last for 16 days if 25 more students join the hostel. Alternately, we can write x1y1 is equal to x2y2 as x1 by x2 is equal to y2 by y1. That is, x1 is to x2 is equal to y2 is to y1 or 100 is to 125 is equal to y is to 20 or y is equal to 100 into 20 by 125 is equal to 16. Example 9. If 15 workers can build a wall in 48 hours, how many workers will be required to do the same work in 30 hours? Solution. Let the number of workers employed to build the wall in 30 hours be y. Page number 213. We have the following table. In the first row, we have number of hours. The values are 48 and 30. In the second row, we have number of workers. The values are 15 and y. Obviously, more the number of workers, faster will they build the wall. So, the number of hours and number of workers vary in inverse proportion. So, 48 into 15 is equal to 30 into y. Therefore, 48 into 15 by 30 is equal to y or y is equal to 24. That is, to finish the work in 30 hours, 24 workers are required. Exercise 13.2 1. Which of the following are in inverse proportion? 1. The number of workers on a job and the time taken to complete the job. 2. The time taken for a journey and the distance travelled in a uniform speed. 3. Area of cultivated land and the crop harvested. 4. The time taken for a fixed journey and the speed of the vehicle. 5. The population of a country and the area of land per person. 2. In a television game show, the prize money of rupees 1 lakh is to be divided equally amongst the winners. Complete the following table and find whether the prize money given to an individual winner is directly or inversely proportional to the number of winners. Here we have a table with two rows. In the first row we have number of winners. The values are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20. In the second row we have Price for each winner in rupees. The values are 1 lakh, 50,000, blank, 
blank, blank, blank, blank. 3. Rahman is making a wheel using spokes. He wants to fix equal spokes in such a way that the angles between any pair of consecutive spokes are equal. Help him by completing the following table. Here we have a table with two rows. In the first row we have number of spokes. The values are 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. In the second row we have angle between a pair of consecutive spokes. The values are 90 degree, 60 degree, blank, blank, blank. Page number 214, 1. Are the number of spokes and the angles formed between the pairs of consecutive spokes in inverse proportion? 2. Calculate the angle between a pair of consecutive spokes on a wheel with 15 spokes. 3. How many spokes would be needed if the angle between a pair of consecutive spokes is 40 degrees? 4. If a box of sweets is divided among 24 children, they will get 5 sweets each. How many would each get if the number of the children is reduced by 4? 5. A farmer has enough food to feed 20 animals in his cattle for 6 days. How long would the food last if there were 10 more animals in his cattle? 6. A contractor estimates that three persons could rewire Jasminder's house in four days. If he uses four persons instead of three, how long should they take to complete the job? 7. A batch of bottles were packed in 25 boxes with 12 bottles in each box. If the same batch is packed using 20 bottles in each box, how many boxes would be filled? 8. A factory requires 42 machines to produce a given number of articles in 63 days. How many machines would be required to produce the same number of articles in 54 days? 9. A car takes 2 hours to reach a destination by travelling at the speed of 60 km per hour. How long will it take when the car travels at the speed of 80 km per hour. 10. Two persons could fit new window in a house in three days. 1. One of the persons fell ill before the work started. How long would the job take now? 2. How many persons would be needed to fit the windows in one day? 11. A school has eight periods a day each of 45 minutes duration. How long would each period be if the school has 9 periods a day, assuming the number of school hours to be the same? Page number 215. Do this. 1. Take a sheet of paper, fold it as given in the figure, count the number of parts and the area of a part in each case. First, we have a square. It has been folded into half, then again into half to give four quarters, then again into half to give eight rectangles, then again into half to give sixteen squares. Tabulate your observations and discuss with your friends is it a case of inverse proportion? Why? Here we have a table with two rows. In the first row we have number of parts. The values are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. In the second row we have area of each part. The values are area of the paper, half the area of the paper, blank, blank, blank. 2. Take a few containers of different sizes with circular bases. Fill the same amount of water in each container. Note the diameter of each container and the respective height at which the water level stands. Tabulate your observations.
is it a case of inverse proportion? Here, we have three different types of containers. The first container has height as H1 and diameter as D1. The second container is smaller in height. The height is H2, diameter is T2. The third container is even smaller in height. The height is H3, the diameter is T3. Here we have a table. In the first row we have diameter of container in centimeter. In the second row we have height of water level in centimeter. You have to fill in the blanks. What have we discussed? 1. Two quantities x and y are said to be in direct proportion if they increase or decrease together in such a manner that the ratio of their corresponding values remains constant. That is, if x by y is equal to k, k is a positive number, then x and y are said to vary directly. In such a case, if y1, y2 are the values of y corresponding to the values x1, x2 of x respectively, then x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2. Page number 216 2 Two quantities x and y are said to be in inverse proportion if an increase in x causes a proportional decrease in y and vice versa in such a manner that the product of their corresponding values remains constant. That is, if x y is equal to k, then x and y are said to vary inversely. In this case, if y1, y2 are the values of y corresponding to the values x1, x2 of x respectively, then x1, y1 is equal to x2, y2 or x1 by x2 is equal to y2 by y1. This chapter ends here. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Vikas Sangwan Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And this program is presented to you by C-I-E-T, N-C-E-R-T, New Delhi, India.